Angry, upset and frustrated, they say their licences are all but worthless. The drivers headed to the steps of Parliament, still boiling after an angry meeting. They don't care about us. So the minute you understand that and you stand up and fight with us, then we've got a chance of winning. They met to discuss options which not only include a grand final day strike, but legal action too. I guess in a nutshell is that we're going for everything. Their anger is aimed at the government after it announced it will deregulate the taxi market and legalise Uber. Cab owners will be compensated $100,000 for their first taxi licence and 50 for the second, but nothing for subsequent licences leaving many in huge debt. My parents' life's work is invested in the taxi industry. My family are everything to me. We're a very tight-knit family. While today's meeting was a chance to express anger, there were also stories of unbearable grief for some drivers. Well, we've seen one gentleman commit suicide, unfortunately. It's a very sad situation. We've seen another man, luckily his wife caught him in enough time and saved his life. We don't, we don't want anyone to suffer like this. The Public Transport Minister insists there's help at hand. I'm examining other ways that we can support people who might be experiencing financial and emotional distress during this period of time. The drivers will rally at Parliament next week, with grand final day their next target if a fair deal isn't met. Tegan Dolling, 7 News.